Okay. Then uh, I'm checking. Mm -hmm. They are not here. Then uh, I think we can uh, we can go with the second uh, with the second presentation because uh, also for the first one we didn't receive any any video any any recording for the i3m52. Then I I think we can go we can go ahead with the second presentation. The exploiting machine learning and industry 4.0. Traceability technologies to re-engineering the seasoning process of a traditional traditional farmer's farm. Very interesting type. <laughs> uh, the the right. authors are Davide Mezzogori and Francesco Zamori. And yes. the, the speaker, I, I suppose, is Davide. Yeah, right? it's me. Yeah, okay. it's me. Thank you, Davide. Please uh, share your screen and uh, the, yeah. the video. Okay. okay. You should see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi everyone, I'm David Mezzogori, a research fellow at the Department of Engineering and Architecture at the University of Parma. Together with my colleague Francesco Zamori, um, we made this work uh, related to exploiting machine learning and industry for point of traceability technologies to engineering the season process of traditional Parmesan. Uh, the agenda of this presentation will be about uh, first, uh, first step of contextualization of the work, then a contribution of this work, a discussion uh, about the data and methods, then a presentation of results, and finally a business process engineering study will be presented. So the main focus of this presentation is about the quality assessment uh, of the manufacturing energy process of prosciutto di Parma, an Italian excellence, profoundly based on a well-established artisanal tradition. The process is uh, divided in eight steps, which we will see briefly right now. First of all, that uh, reception and row uh, of raw hams uh, with the data collection uh, of the batches that are received. Uh, then followed by a first salting cycle and then a second salting cycle. Um, moreover, uh, the salting and resting step and a grooming and resting steps uh, follows. Finally, we have the pre-curing step, which lasts up to 14 months total after the first reception of the raw hams in batches. After this procuring uh, process, we have uh, a quality assessment step, which will be uh, the focus actually of our our work. And, and after this, we have a final curing, uh, which lasts up to another 24 months. What we mean by quality assessment? Uh, while the, the, the process is uh, mostly industrialized, as I said before, uh, still, uh, at the quality assessment after the pre-curing of the of the hams, we have uh, um, an expert uh, operator called the spillatore, which uh, by by olfactory um, senses, he tests each individual ham and places them in uh, in um, and grades them uh, with, with different quality levels. So uh, multiple levels of commercial qualities can be uh, determined for uh, each batch. And for each quality level, uh, we will follow after the final curing process, uh, dif different commercial channels. So it's easy to understand that an early prediction of quality level output is highly strategic. And uh, indeed, we, we, the, 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 the main goal of this, of this uh, paper is to understand if, we, if an ad hoc advanced quality prediction model um, is feasible, uh, fitted with process data, seasoning data, and genetics data, uh, to predict as soon as possible the commercial quality levels of a given batch. So to recap the work's contribution and novelty, the aim is not to build a quality control framework, which is traditionally done in literature, but the main goal is to assess the feasibility of an early prediction framework to predict commercial quality level as soon as possible, uh, ideally at the reception of the, of, the, of the batches. Furthermore, we want to measure the effect of genetics on the output quality level, uh, since this is the, um, an hypothesis made by, uh, by, by the firm in our case study. 
And finally, business personal engineering study is presented to enhance the existing traceability framework, which will be based on a combined approach of state-of-the-art deep learning algorithms and auto-ID technologies. So our data methods uh, framework, uh, first uh, we analyze the manufacturing process, of course. Day one. The data uh, that is already yeah. collected during the, the processing and the seasoning of, of the ends, as is in the process. Uh, then uh, it follows feature selection and feature engineering steps. Oh. Uh, and before the model training, we had we defined different uh, variables grouping. Um, and oh. this is because, mainly because uh, uh, the data related to origin of the hems were too sparse. Uh, and so we, we had to come up with a, uh, a feasible grouping and we defined uh, multiple schemas for that. And then, of course, uh, uh, the model training and finally the performance evaluation. So with respect to data and methods, again, uh, that we used, this, the table displays the variables that we incorporate in the models. A um, uh, group of variables that are temporal, uh, related to physical characteristics, to production data, and to the origin, again, of the of the M's. Um, Two, two frameworks models were used uh, and compared the random forest and our network. Um, the results that we gathered, um, I was um, briefly recapped in this table. Uh, I can go uh, into much detail about the schemas, but uh, they are, uh, of course, detailed in the, in the paper. Uh, here we can see that basically, uh, random, former, random forest always outperform our networks. Uh, this schema four, which is the one in which we have the best results, uh, the lowest uh, error, is the one that does not include process data, which is actually interesting. Uh, please remember that process data are gathered not at the level of the single hand, but for uh, a, a given batch of, uh, of, um, of hands. And we confirm the hypothesis that genetics and origin of the hams are an important factor for the final commercial quality. Indeed, each time they were bringt into the into the model, um, uh, the error lowered consistently. So uh, after this first step, we we come up with a business process engineering study. So to recap, we 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 stated the feasibility of prediction framework at a batch level. Um, we confirmed the importance of data related to HAMS origin, but we find out that process data were too much aggregated and not useful in this, uh, at this aggregation level. So um, we thought to redesign the tracking system to bring it to the individual HAM, and this would be based, this business process engineering would be based on technologies, uh, the use of, tag, of RFID tags and the, and the use of an automatic OCR for the origin data, which actually you can see in this picture are uh, um, related, uh, are, um, are tattoos on the, on the hands. And so for, for, having, uh, for being uh, able to relate each ham which, with its own origin, we had to come up with a, a, a prototype of an automatic data collection for this, uh, for this type of information. So the single hand tracking, why we, we, we want a single hand tracking? So for the single hands, uh, if we place intelligently um, RFID tags, uh, paying attention to where we place it on the very top, so not to uh, have molds in the, in the, in the, in the hands, we can gather new new data uh, or uh, or data that is already collected, but we can trace it to the single hand. So the initial weight, the percentage of added salts during the process, uh, the, the second and third steps that we saw before, and uh, the weight losses of each one of the hands. Then still, however, uh, at uh, some aggregated level, we also can, uh, can uh, be um, have better and precise collection of seasoning data uh, related to temperatures and humidity uh, during uh, when the, the hams are stored in, in the cellars. Uh, for the automatic system of, uh, for, uh, for tattoo detection, uh, here you can see again two examples of a tattoo which is 
actually easily readable. And another one which is possibly not readable at all, even to the human eye. Um, we tested a uh, YOLO version 3 um, uh, deep neural network, convolutional neural network, which is able to actually um, uh, carry over the OCR task as an um, object detection um, problem. Uh, so the, the ideal result is that it, it can actually output which is the the, the correct uh, the correct origin data that are um, that are represented by these tattoos. So the the, the, the first prototype showed an, uh, a very promising accuracy of eighty six percent, which is actually um, um, very promising because uh, most of the time the the the, the system failed where where it was not able to. Um, to actually recognize just one character in the six that uh, needed to be recognized. Um, and so by using very simple heuristic, it will be very easy to uh, fix this issue. Uh, so for the conclusion of future works, we had uh, we, we presented an, a ad hoc advanced commercial quality prediction model. We confirmed the importance of genetics data uh, we found out that random forest consistently outperformed neural network, and uh, a business process or engineering study is presented to further leverage and improve a single hand tracking system. Uh, for future works, uh, we will be very happy to implement this BPR and also to further prototype uh, at the industrial level the automatic recognition of uh, the two systems. Thank you for your attention. Okay, perfect, perfect. Very, very interesting uh, presentation. Thank you, Davide. Uh, Thank you. Any questions from the from the audience? Uh, questions? So. It seems no. Uh, I have, I have, a, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, if I well understood. The, you, you used the uh, neural network and random uh, forest, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, and uh, uh, my, my question is, uh, why did you choose uh, these two methods? And yes. uh, did, you, did you plan to use uh, other methods? Uh, for uh, well, um, actually, since the, the, the data were structured data, essentially uh, it was data collected on various tables on a database, and since when you have this kind of structured data, um, usually um, the best one is uh, our methods based on the schism trees. So this is why we chose uh, random forest. And, uh, and then we tested it against uh, neural network because still neural networks usually performs uh, very well, but not in this case. So okay. it was a comparison in this sense. Okay, perfect. Uh, other questions from the audience? I think no. Okay, perfect. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, David. Very nice, very interesting uh, presentation. Okay, we can go ahead. The next paper is entitled Interdisciplinary innovative talent training method and practice on modeling and simulation for intelligent manufacturing. The authors are uh, Yuan Yun Lai Li, Lin Zhang, Lei Ren, Lei Wang, and Yang Li. I don't know if there is uh, uh, someone for this, for this paper. Is there anyone for this paper? I think no. And, uh, or Paper 48, speakers, I think, no. Uh, we don't have uh, the, the, the recording that uh, we cannot share uh, their presentation. And I think we can go, uh, we can go ahead with the last presentation. Okay. Are you the speaker of the last presentation? I am. Mikhail Zabisky. Okay. Okay, 
Then the next presentation is entitled A Digital Twin of Intensive Aqua Biotechnological Production Based on a Closed Ecosystem Modeling and, uh, and Simulation. Uh, the authors are Mikhail Zabinski, Yuri Andrienko, Vladimir Malishev, Svetlana Chukiova, and Alexei uh, Zosanov. And please uh, share your screen and your uh, presentation. Uh, yes, I'll try to share. Yes, please. One moment. Here it is. Uh, do you see my screen? Yes, now yes. Perfect. I try to yeah. switch on the presentation. One moment. Yeah, don't worry. It's begin. Okay. We cannot hear anything. We cannot hear anything. Maybe you have to also to share your uh, sound, computer sound. So, oh, how I can do it, I don't know. Oh. When you share your screen, there is a, a small thing to also confirm that you also want to share the sound and not only the screen, but also the sound. Is, uh, it is uh, out of the meeting. He is out of the meeting. Uh, okay, we can we can wait. Probably he he went out of uh, Teams and uh, he is uh, uh, joining us another time. Wait two seconds. Mikhail, are you here? Uh, yes, I am here, yeah. but uh, yeah. how I can... Maybe you switch on uh, our record. Uh, you have it. Yes, I, I can I can share the, my screen and I can share the, your video. Don't worry. Okay. I sent the record. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, have, I, have your, uh, I have your record. Don't worry, don't worry. I can share my screen and... Uh, Yes, and I will answer the question uh, after the presentation. Okay, okay, don't worry. I'm sharing my screen. Okay. And this is the presentation, okay. Yes, it is. I'm glad to tell you about our uh, work. Can you hear it? Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. We can start. Uh, named as a digital twin of intensive aqua biotechnological production based on a closed ecosystem modeling and simulation. Uh, first of all, I want to speak about uh, the goals of our uh, research. Uh, there are two points of view for the goals of the scientific uh, research and development. Uh, first is from the scientific point of view and the other one is from the point of view of industry. Uh, from the scientific point of view, we make new knowledge. Uh, we uh, make better models or new models, analyze uh, their and the results uh, of uh, simulation. Uh, we make knowledge and uh, from the other uh, side, uh, we uh, try to get applied goals uh, for productivity, such as increase 
industrial productivity, reduce cost, and um, use our models for the operation. Uh, we uh, use both of these points of view in our work. Uh, the other idea is the uh, modeling object uh, are different, and we have interesting uh, simulation objects such as biotechnological system uh, in our work, not only the engineering facilities uh, simulation. Uh, there are some difference between these two type of objects because of the main difference is uh, that we can switch off uh, any engineering unit, any device, but we cannot switch off the real uh, biological object. Uh, we can switch off the pitch. Even we will stop all pumps, all heaters, all air pumps, all, all uh, mechanical filters, uh, the biological pro process will be go. And we can switch them on uh, if that time we want to. Uh, we have to simulate uh, this process from beginning to end with no pause at all. Uh, the other uh, one idea I want uh, you know that just now is the most interesting uh, moment for biotechnology system uh, simulation in agriculture. Uh, the reason is very simple. Uh, the analytical revolution in the agriculture was 10,000 years ago. Uh, plants and animals grow uh, with us. Uh, we don't cage them, but uh, it is not. Uh, it isn't correct for fisheries. Until 40 years ago, uh, we almost uh, make uh, fishery for uh, fish food production, and only nearly in uh, 1980 we began increase. The part of the agriculture is the total fish production, and just now in these years we. Uh, make a very important step uh, from the position when some less than one half uh, we make by agriculture, aquaculture, and uh, in some years later we will have some more than one uh, half of total production from aquaculture. And after this, the part of the fishery will be less and less and less. Uh, we have some different technologies for aquaculture. The most simple is uh, when we only isolate some lake or some pattern or some part of lake from other parts and we put fish there, we put feed there and at the end we simply take it out, we catch them uh, nearly such as in fishery technology. The other one is uh, net cages. Uh, well-known uh, net cage using for salmon uh, growth and development and production all over the world, in Norway, in Chile, in Japan, and so on. But we try to simulate uh, the third type of uh, biotechnological, aqua biotechnological system, such as close water regulation. It is interesting because it is the most intensive uh, technology. It has extremely high productivity and some other features you see at your screens. Uh, object of simulation was the aqua farm pining scan. Uh, you see that red point uh, just in the center, in the middle of the map. It is in Russia, in Ust region, and uh, from uh, 2009, uh, the product, uh, two types of fish production, such as tournament fish, and uh, some draw two. Uh, during uh, 10 years, uh, there was no uh, digital component in the productivity, but in 2020, we made the uh, digital transformation. We uh, made uh, industrial Internet of Things uh, technology in our object. We put uh, many measuring devices in fish tanks, in circulation system, in biological filters, and each engineering device such as pump, air pump, heaters, mechanical filters, gives data to our 
uh, internet of cloud core and we operate uh, our system biotechnology, aqua biotechnology system by data. At the same time, we try to make a modeling and simulation of our system and uh, we exchange data and we compare the result of uh, real reality behavior and uh, the results of modeling, the results of simulation. We put in uh, engineering parameters, engineering scenario, it uh, make us data of aquatic habitat uh, parameters and feeding modes, and we calculate uh, the uh, behavior of our biotechnology, biological system, the fish growth, uh, by uh, some mathematical uh, model. And we get the result. Our mathematical model uh, have Sound stop. I don't hear what's matter. In the water, nitrogen yes. pollution in the water, total mass of uh, population and number of fish in each population in each uh, tank. And we compare the result of our calculation with the experimental data uh, in the real uh, fish tanks. You see that we have some mistake. We have accuracy nearly. Uh, 20%. It is enough good for scientific, uh, for uh, uh, correction of the total model point of view, uh, but it is not enough for economical and uh, commercial uh, usage. Uh, if your costs are different at 20%, we uh, can be, uh, it can be a good result or a bad result, but we uh, can it predict the result enough accurate? So we need to uh, uh, modify our uh, simulation, and we have some problem. We want to solve them, and have we have the research program for future. Uh, first off, is a mathematical problem. It's well known uh, because we have slow process and quick process, and five uh, degrees uh, are time difference. It's uh, named a uh, uh, rigid, uh, rigid uh, equation system, and we need special methods for its solve. The other problem is that uh, dependence uh, coefficient, coefficients and functions we took from literature, and we have not enough good result. So we will uh, measure the this dependence, these functions, this coefficient from our experimental data, uh, from our own. Uh, object of simulation and use them for better accuracy. And the third uh, problem is fundamental. What is biological uh, accuracy? You can take two population, put it in the same condition uh, in uh, two uh, fish tanks, uh, one near another, and have the different result at the end. Uh, we uh, need to know, uh, uh, is it uh, the result of bad measurement of the uh, growth condition or it is uh, population difference. We will uh, try to understand it, uh, pro this problem in our future research. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. I am glad to answer your questions and uh, we won't be wait for your communication in future. Okay. Thank you very much. OK, perfect. Thank you, Mikhail, for this very, very nice, uh, very interesting uh, presentation. Um, any questions from the audience? Probably Daniel. Please switch on your microphone, Daniel. Are mute. Uh, sorry. OK, uh, can you show again the transparency about uh, uh, the, with the equations, the one on which the sound was cut? Mm, equations? One with six equations. No. I remember a slide with all the equations, right? Refer to that. One, one, one moment. Do, uh, do you see? Uh, do you see my screen? Yeah, 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 perfectly. 
and uh, you speak about uh, uh, this, this picture, I think. Exactly, thank you. Uh, you told that there were two uh, time constants, one which is 10 minutes about the oxygen, and the uh, other yes. one is uh, a week. Yes. Uh, well, I, okay, so... Uh, Uh, my question is, uh, what method uh, you told us about special method for rigid ODE? Can you give the author of describing the method you use? Can you or just describe the method, please? Uh, there was uh, two uh, type of uh, fish population. First of uh, them uh, you see was uh, charmed fish and uh, other trout. Uh, the charmed fish uh, don't uh, sensitive for oxygen very much. It is in care. It have some air breathing. So uh, we uh, uh, don't. Uh, ah, one, one more uh, fact that we have very dense uh, population. Our fish population is uh, for Shermont one half of the total volume and uh, for trout one third of the total volume. So that's why uh, is uh, the time of oxygen uh, oxygen consumption is so small. We uh, have uh, we did not uh, use uh, any special methods for uh, Shermot, but for uh, trout, uh, we uh, need to do it. Uh, just now, I uh, cannot say you very mu much detail, but I can answer if you will write to me. Uh, uh, my uh, friends uh, did this uh, calculation, uh, so we will answer you in some details. OK, thank you. I'll, I'll do that. Yes. OK, okay perfect. Any questions more? Yeah. If there are no questions, I have just uh, an additional curiosity. And I don't know if uh, I understood uh, well, but uh, did you apply this, uh, this approach uh, in the reality? And, uh, Yes, we, uh, we we took a uh, real object. Uh, we took our uh, uh, real population in some tanks, and we compare it with our uh, modeling simulation. Okay, uh, and yeah. what about the, the benefits after your uh, contribution? Uh, benefits for 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 whom? For the for the real environment. For? for the real uh, environment, for the for the reality. Uh, we uh, want to predict uh, predict the result for uh, some um, technological regimes. Uh, I, it, it's it's I, I think that it is the answer. No, I I, I refer. You 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 applied uh, this uh, this approach to the to the real aqua biotechnological production, right? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, my question is just uh, what about the benefits you obtained by applying th this method? Okay, just uh, we uh, can mm, we can. Uh, Compare in simulation uh, the parameter, uh, the influence of the aquatic habitat parameters and feeding modes for their costs at the industry systems. Okay. We we try to predict the result of different uh, scenario of the yeah. aquatic habitat. Some temperature higher or less, or and some feed more or less, and so we predict the costs. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. 
Any other questions? Did you compare your model even with the business uh, economical benefit? Uh, in this model, we uh, compare uh, to uh, values. Uh, feed ratio, it uh, is uh, weight uh, per unit mass of spent feet. It is the more uh, the main cost for uh, aquaculture. And uh, there are some other, but it's the main. Uh, and uh, of course, their uh, type growth. Uh, it is economical, but we will uh, put in the model uh, total costs uh, all over the industry, uh, our production, uh, such as uh, energy, such as uh, stuff, such as uh, some other, and we will have more um, complete model at the end. But we now we uh, take in the uh, we speak only about the main uh, part of the uh, costs of as economical. Thank you, thank you, Professor. Okay, thank you. Uh, other questions from the audience? No questions. Okay, thank you, Mikhail. Very interesting. Thank you. I have written my mail address on the okay. chat. You can uh, look at it, Michael. Please write to me in the chat of, uh, uh, of the uh, session. Okay. Gujo at gmail.com. Uh, you see it in the screen? Or... Okay, Daniel, write. Uh, uh, his email on the chat, I think. Yes. I also have, a, uh, I will write to you. Thank you. Thank you. I will wait. OK. Perfect. OK, thank you, Mikhail. Thank you. And, uh, I must switch off my screen. In some... yeah, no. Okay, perfect. We don't have any additional, uh, any other presentations. Then uh, uh, I think we can uh, we can close this uh, this session. It was a great pleasure for me to manage this uh, this session. Uh, then we have a, a break, a virtual break, and then and then we can continue with uh, our very interesting IEEE present conference at eleven o'clock. And goodbye, and thank you for uh, participating to this very interesting session. Ciao, goodbye. Goodbye, Marina. Goodbye. Goodbye, thank you. Bye.